Government. That's coming up on May 18th. The museum will be honoring the 60th anniversary of the four black golfers who desegregated the Augusta Municipal Golf Course, also known as the Patch, back in 1964. And we are joined with the chair of the tournament, Leon Maven, who has all the info. And sir, it's always good to have you. <laughs> always good to be on the morning mix show. Absolutely, sir. And Cliff, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, it's good to be back out on the course, of course. Uh, how did the tournament get started? Well, the tournament got started back around my tour. We approached the board, myself and James Bush Vincent, um, back in 2015. And at that time, the museum only had uh, a one fundraiser, and that was that gala, annual gala. So at that time, uh, I, I think I saw golf becoming the new action sport, uh, either way of people getting, to, uh, getting together. So we approached the board about, had anyone approach them about creating a golf tournament fundraiser for the museum. And Butch and I always felt that uh, even though the gala is more of a black tie, it's a black tie affair, uh, quite naturally with the game of golf, it's more relaxing. So we felt that that would bring a different uh, uh, set of, of, of supporters in that perhaps didn't know anything about the museum or may want to support it in a, in, in another way, uh, which is, um, that's how the golf tournament really got started. Just all ties in? Right, right. And then also what we did was we, uh, we knew it was going to be a fundraiser, but we felt that we could also use it as a tool to, for education. And that's when we uh, also injected telling the black golf history uh, of golf, particularly here in Augusta, which has a very strong black history period, but also has a great black golf history. And every year from there, we honor someone uh, 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 that brought uh, great strides uh, black here in the Augusta area through golf. Yeah, so such as Jim Dent, mm -hmm. uh, the Black Caddies, um, and also what we're doing now coming up uh, with uh, uh, this year's tournament, quite naturally, as y'all indicated, we're honoring the four black golfers that uh, integrated, desegregated the uh, Augusta Municipal Golf Course, which is known to us as the Patch. Right. Yeah. And uh, let's talk about that. Um, mm -hmm. Really, must be an honor to get to recognize these men. How important is it to yeah. kind of share what they mm -hmm. did years past and mm -hmm. how they kind of paved the way to yeah. what we see today? Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's even though we say it's 1964. You know. Uh, 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 this year marks six, the 60th anniversary of them doing that. And just think that this is a city, uh, city golf course. And then before 1964, uh, the black population was paying taxes, but could not even golf right. on the golf course that they was paying uh, taxes on. And, and, and I guess it, 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 we also have to thank uh, attorney uh, John Ruffin uh, he, quite naturally, he was the catalyst of a lot of civil rights uh, uh, lawsuits that came in Augusta for the school system and different uh, uh, sit-ins uh, at the restaurants and then quite naturally with the um, Augusta Municipal Golf Course. And those four men, uh, 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 we've only, uh, so far we've got one remaining, one still living, that's Claus Herndon. And he'll be 90 years old. Wow. I believe when I sat with him a couple of months ago, he'll be 90. Either I think his birthday is either November or either December. Mm -hmm. And this tournament obviously is a fundraiser for the Lucy Craft Landing Museum, specifically yes. for the administrative building. Mm -hmm. uh, let's show the information for the golf event because we're running yeah. out of time here. Uh, okay. Let's talk about the times and the dates of the actual tournament itself. Uh, we're looking at Saturday, May 18th. May 18th. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a captain's choice, four-person uh, four best ball team. And then also on the Friday evening, May 17th, is our annual also uh, with that is our uh, golf tournament reception. And that's from 6 to 8, and that's included in the fee. And that's okay. at the Laney Museum. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can go to LucyCraftLaneyMuseum.org to get no, all the... No, .com. 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 Mm -hmm. LucyCraftLaneyMuseum.com. Lucy and register ahead of time. And if you register ahead of time, I believe it's a free yeah. admission ticket to right. the museum. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So register now. A lot of teams already signed up. Yes, so. they have. 
The last two years has been a sellout, so oh. don't wait till the last minute. Don't wait. You're not going to get in. <laughs> Let's go for a three-peat. So, registration is already on. Uh, you can register online or either call the museum mm -hmm. at 706-724-3576, uh, and that's for a golf package. They either come on by with a check. All right. Yeah. And, see, just uh, finally on. <laughs> Leon, I'll Thanks, take your sir. money. <laughs> right, you can see me on the street. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Hey, thank you all for having us. Let's check it right now. First alert, meteorologist.